Let's start this video with the Baskill unboxing. First thing, when you open the box, there is a message for us inviting us to browse to buskill.in slash start to get full instruction. And there is a thanks message following by different links to follow Buskill on the internet. And in case you are not satisfied, you could contact Buskill via the URL below. I think it's important to mention, especially in IT, where we use a lot of resources, that the packaging is plastic free and biodegradable. On the other side of the paper, we could see all the different standards that the bus kill complies with. Here is a bonus. My package includes an extra webcam privacy cover. You can use it on your laptop camera, for example. What's really interests us is behind this paper, the bus kill kit. The kit is made up from several components. Here is the first one. It's a carabiner, which is itself attached to a keyring. And this is attached to a USB key. The USB key is a type A USB key and it contains the Buskill software. And now the main element, the cable with the magnetic adapter. Before moving on to the different scenarios, I will show you what the cable assembly looks like. On my left is a magnetic part, and on the other side, the detachable part leading to a female type A USB. I then connect the USB cable to the PC. After that, I just need to connect the USB key to the other end of the cable. Installing Buskill on macOS couldn't be easier. Simply plug the Buskill USB key, which already includes macOS binaries along with other operating systems. Once the USB stick is plugged in, you can simply open the Buskill volume. Next, open the Buskill macOS folder and then the macOS DMG file. It contains the Buskill binary file. Go back to the previous window and open the applications folder which contain all the programs installed on your Mac. Then simply drag and drop the binary file into this folder. And that's it. Buskill is installed. To show you, I will click on the program to launch the application. You can update the application right from its own interface. Just click on the menu in the top left corner, then select update and check update. We already have the latest version of Buskill, so everything is up to date and no new version will be downloaded during this demonstration. As you can see on the top right corner, I have the Buskill volume mounted and I have started the application for the first time. As you can see, Buskill is displayed in blue, indicating it is currently disarmed. So nothing will happen when I will unplug the key. In the next scenario, I will set up the session to lock when I unplug the USB key. Currently, Buskill is blue, indicating it is disarmed. 
I will click on the menu button on the top left corner, then select settings and choose the lock screen option. I have set the action for the bus skill application to perform when the key is unplugged. The screen will lock. I will return to the bus skill main menu by clicking the left arrow in the top left corner. No, I will click on the arm button. As you can see, Buskill is now red, meaning it is armed. I will now unplug the key. As you can see, the screen is locked on my Mac. And now I will switch the camera to show you a first person view. As you can see, the Buskill application is in red, indicating it is still armed and the key is properly mounted in the top right corner of the screen. I will now unplug the key that is in my hands and the session will lock. In this scenario, we will configure Busky to automatically shut down the computer when the key is unplugged. To do so, Start by clicking on the menu in the top left corner. Then go to settings. From there, select trigger and choose soft shutdown. A warning message will appear, urging you to be cautious as initiating the shutdown could result in losing any unsaved documents. Once you acknowledge the risk, Click on continue and then navigate back to the main menu. Bus skill is in blue, meaning it is disarmed. Nothing will happen. We are going to arm it so it turns red. No, if I unplug the key, the computer will shut down. So be sure to save all your documents to avoid any loss. I will now switch the camera to show you what's happened on my side. We can see that bus kill is activated. The color is indeed red. We have the option to shut down the machine when bus kill volume key is unplugged. I'm holding the key in my hand, as you can see, and I will now unplug it. We now can see that the machine has completely shut down, and I need to press power on to start it. When the bus kill key is connected and recognized by Windows, it appears on my computer with the drive letter D assigned. I click on the bus kill volume and then I will open the bus kill Windows folder. Next, I open the folder corresponding to the version installed on the USB key. The final step to install Buskill on your computer is simply to copy this folder. You can copy it into any folder of your choice. For this example, I will copy and paste it onto my desktop. The Buskill folder has been copied to the desktop. Now I will look for the executable file named Buskill and double click it. The application is launching from the desktop. Buskill includes a feature that allow you to update the application directly from it by clicking an update to search for updates. You need to connect to the internet to do this. Since I am connected, I will click on check update.
that update has been successfully completed. Now it is necessary to restart the application for the update to take effect. Buskill is in blue, which means the application is disabled and no action will be executed when the USB key is disconnected. I can plug in and unplug the key without any action being taken. We will configure the locking of the Windows session when the key is disconnected. First, we will click on the menu in the top left corner, then on Settings. We'll make sure that the lock screen is selected. If not, we will click on the line and choose the first option to lock your screen. Then we go all the way back and click on ARM. Buskill turns red, meaning it is activated. When I disconnect the key, the session will be locked. And there you have it, the Windows session will be locked. We will configure Buskill to shut down the computer when the key is disconnected. First, we click on the menu in the top left corner. Then on settings, and then hit the trigger button with the last configured action being lock screen. Next, we will click on soft shutdown to set up the machine shutdown. Once we do that, a warning message is displayed. Keep in mind, with a shutdown, any unsaved documents might be lost. I recommend saving all documents before setting the soft shutdown feature and enabling the autosave option in your software to avoid any data loss. Then we click on continue, go all the way back and click on arm to arm bus skill. I will now change my camera to show you what's happened when I disconnect the key. Buskill is still activated with the option to shut down the machine. Here is the USB key and I'm going to unplug it. As you can see, my computer is shutting down. I am going to install Buskill on Ubuntu version 22 and it is installed on a virtual box virtual machine. Before starting, it is important to note that the various actions described here may vary depending on the distribution you are using. The first step is to plug in your USB key, which I have already done. I open it by clicking on the volume, where several folders and files are present at the root. We will focus on the Linux folder. Inside there is a named app image file, which is an executable file for the application. Once I copied it, I right click on the file, then I select properties and go to the permission tabs and check the execute box to allow us to open this file as a program. To verify that it is working, I double click on it. And we can see that Buskill has successfully launched. Installing Buskill is one thing but it is important as for any software to be able to update. And fortunately, the process is very simple here. We see that we are currently on version 0 0.6. We will click on menu on the top left corner and then click on update. To update, you need, of course, to be connected to the internet. Then we click on check update 
and wait the download to complete. And once the update is done, we need to click on Restart Now to restart the application. We can see that everything has gone smoothly and we have upgraded from version 0 0.6 to 0 0.7. Buskill displays the color blue and it means that Buskill is disarmed and no action will be executed when the USB key is unplugged. I will now unplug the key and nothing will happen. We can see that the volume in the shortcut bar of Ubuntu is no longer present because it has been unplugged. No, if I reconnect the key, the volume will reappear and nothing happens. I will now proceed to configure bus key so that the session locks when I unplug the key. To do this, we click on the menu on the top left corner and then on settings. Then we click on trigger and make sure that the lock screen option is selected. We go all the way back and click on arm so that bus skill is activated and now the color is red. No, when I unplug the key, the session will lock. I'm going to unplug the key right now and the session is locked. We will configure Buskill to shut down the system completely when the key is unplugged. First, click on the menu on the top left corner, then click on settings followed by trigger. Here, select the second option, Soft Shutdown. A warning message will appear, urging you to be very careful since you can lose all unsaved work with this operation. Click on Continue. Then go back to verify that the shutdown function is indeed activated. And go back one more. We will activate it because Buskill is no arm. I can proceed with the demonstration and unplug the key. There you will see the machine is completely shut down.